Good morning. My name is M. Narasimha Rao, lecturer in physics. Today, I am explaining the deduction of Ohm's law. V is equals to IR in this formula. Capital V represents the potential difference across the conductor. I represents the current flowing through the conductor. R represents the resistance of this material of the conductor. For this, let us consider a metallic wire. Let us consider a copper wire. Let us consider the gold wire. Let us consider a conductor of length L. The length of the wire may be 1 meter. The length of the wire may be 2 meter. The length of the wire, the length of the conductor I am taking as L. This is the cross-sectional area of the conductor which is represented by the letter A. Now, this metallic conductor is connected to the battery. This battery creates the potential difference between the ends of the conductor. Now, positive terminal of the battery is connected to one end of the conductor. Negative terminal is connected to the another end of the conductor. In between these two ends, electric field is created due to the battery or due to the potential difference of the supplied by the battery. In between these two terminals, there is a it battery creates the potential difference. You know, due to height difference, water flows. Due to potential difference, current flows. This battery creates the potential difference between the ends of the conductor. Now, in between these two ends, electric field capital E is created. When here this is the positive end of the conductor, this positive end of the conductor is, is attracting the free electrons with some force. Its a meaning is in the electric field, force is acting on these charged particles. Force is acting on these electrons. Now, these ele free electrons are present in the electric field created by this battery between the ends of the conductor. On these electrons, force is acting. This positive end of the conductor is attracting the electrons with some force. Due to the force, all these electrons Electrons are moving in a single direction with a common velocity. And in a, due to this electric field, the common velocity of these electrons we are calling as the drift velocity. Now, these electrons are flowing from one end to the another end. Flow of the charges is taking place. Rate of flow of charge we are calling as a current. Now, current is flowing in this conductor. That current is given by the formula current. Due to the free electrons, current in the conductor or metal wire. We, we know one formula. I is equals to A into M into E into V suffixity. In this formula, A represents the cross-sectional area of the conductor. 
small n represents the number density of free electrons number density of free electrons means number of electrons present in the unit volume now you consider one cube you consider one cube now this length is one unit breadth is one unit height is one unit this cube we are calling as a unit cube the volume we are calling as unit volume in this unit volume some electrons are present inside their conductor the number of electrons present in the unit volume of the conductor we are calling as the number density small e represents the charge of electron vd represents the drift velocity of the electrons now now first of all we have to derive an expression for drift velocity now please listen this positive now this battery creates the potential difference between the ends of the conductor this is the positive end and this is the negative end this positive end of the conductor now is attracting these electrons with some force on these electrons force is acting due to this electric field force acting on these electrons due to this electric field is given by the formula force on electrons in the electric field in the electric field electric field capital e we know one formula force on the charged particle f is equals to eq now please listen now let us assume initial velocity of these electrons is zero the reason is while they are moving these electrons are colliding with another ions present in the metal after collision again their velocity refreshes and starts with zero and again their velocity increases again collision takes place at the at after the collision the velocity starts from zero for that reason let us consider let us assume initial velocity of these electrons is zero now after that due to this positive end is attracting due to the attraction its velocity increases there is a change in velocity with respect to time rate of change of velocity you are calling as acceleration these electrons are accelerated to the positive end of the conductor now these electrons are accelerated now there is an increase in the velocity of these electrons we know one formula f is equals to ma where a represents the acceleration of these electrons small m represents the mass of the electron that is equals to e into q means charge charge of electron is e charge of electron is e m comes to denominator a is equals to capital e small e by m it is the equation number 2 here a represents the acceleration of these free electrons inside the conductor here a represents the acceleration of free electrons now it is the equation number 2 now we know one formula these electrons collides with the another ions here present inside the metal after collision again their velocity increases gradually reaches to maximum again another collision taking place another collision taking place here now this is the metallic conductor now this is the free electron now here this is the positive ion this electron while moving it collides with the positive ion and at that moment it is stopped again its velocity is increased after the collision its velocity is starting from zero let us assume initial velocity of these electrons is zero after some time due to the force is acting on these electrons their velocity increases they are accelerated towards the positive end now now their velocity is changed final velocity 
now all these electrons are moving in a single direction with a common velocity in the electric field due to the potential difference that velocity we are calling as the drift velocity or final velocity or drift velocity drift velocity v is equals to u plus at now v means a drift velocity u means initial velocity of these electrons you take it as zero initial velocity of these electrons is zero u zero a means acceleration small t we are calling a small t that is equals to tau that is the relaxation time relaxation time is a one conductor now these are the positive ions now this electron now collides with this positive ion after collision again it is moving in this direction again collision takes place here now the to travel from here to here now it will take some time the time taken by this electron in between these two successive collision we are calling as the relaxation time that is represented by the letter to here electron is moving now from one place to another place while it is moving this electron collides with this positive ion after that again it is moving again it collides with the another positive ion and to try in between these two successive collisions to travel this distance it will take some time between these two successive collisions the time taken by this free electron between these two successive collisions we are calling as a relaxation time that is represented by tau small t means time time is nothing but relaxation time i am taking as a tau final drift velocity is equals to vd is equals to a into tau a into tau now vd is equals to a means acceleration acceleration e e by m capital e small e by m now to i am writing as a to this equation i am taking as 3 this equation i am taking as 3 so the substitute this drift velocity in the equation 1 in the equation 1 substitute 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 equation 3 in equation 1 now please listen according to the equation 1 i is equals to a n e v d i is equals to a n e v d v d means drift velocity drift velocity is small e capital e by m into to small e capital e small e capital e by m into to into to that is equals to i is equal to a into n into small e into small e e square small e into small e e square by m m to i am writing inside relaxation time to we are calling as a relaxation time relaxation time now here capital e i am writing as capital e here now this battery creates the electric field between the ends of the conductor that electric field is given by the formula electric field electric field is given by the formula e is equals to capital v by l where v represents the potential difference between the ends of the conductor where l represents the length of the conductor length of the conductor i is equals to a into n into e square to by m into now here capital e capital e means capital v by l cap 
capital V by L. This can be written as I is equals to A N E square to by L into M L M into capital V. We got one expression for electric current in the conductor due to the free electrons. I is equals to A N E square A N E square to relaxation time by L M into capital V is the potential difference between the ends of the conductor. Now, this L M goes to numerator. This L M goes to numerator. L M goes to numerator. L M by a n e square to comes to denominator a n e square to comes to denominator that is equals to capital V I am writing capital V by i comes to denominator i comes to denominator now please listen here l is the length of the conductor it is a constant you take length of the conductor 1 meter. When battery is connected, its length is not changing. Its length is not increasing. Length is not decreasing. Length of the conductor is constant. M represents the mass of the electron. It is a constant value. A represents the cross-sectional area of this metallic conductor. Area does not changes when current is passing. M represents the number of electrons per unit volume. For a given metal, it is constant value. E represents charge of electron that is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. It is constant. Tau is the relaxation time. It is also constant. It is constant. Everything is constant. This total term is constant. This total term is constant. Constant that is equal to capital V by I. V by I. This can be written as V by I is equal to constant. V by I is equal to constant. I goes to numerator. I goes to numerator, V is equals to constant, constant into I. This con V is equals to, this constant we are calling, it is represented by R. This constant is represented by R. I, I am writing I. This R we are calling as the resistance of the conductor. Resistance of the conductor. This R we are calling as the resistance of the conductor. Finally, V is equals to I R. It is nothing but the V is equal to Ohm's law. R is the constant. R is the constant. Resistance of the conductor. From your sixth class of knowledge. Now X is equals to KY. K is the constant. K we are calling as a constant. If you, if you eliminate this constant, we are getting proportionality. X is proportional to Y. If you eliminate this proportionality, we are getting constant. Similarly, R is the resistance of the conductor. Resistance of the wire. It is the constant. It is the constant. For you, it is the constant. If you eliminate this constant, we are getting proportionality. V is equals to Ri. Now this is the constant. If you eliminate this constant, we are getting proportionality. V is proportional to I. V is proportional to I. Now the Ohm's law can be stated as at a given temperature, the strength of the current flowing through the conductor is directly proportional to the 
potential difference between the ends of the conductor under physical conditions are constant. Now this is the Ohm's law. It is the Ohm's law. R represents resistance of the material which opposes. It is the property of the material which opposes the flow of current in the conductor just like breaks to the cycle. Just like breaks to the cycle. Resistance is the breaks to the current flow in the conductor. Now in the equation 4 we got one expression V by I is equal to Lm by A n e square into to V by I is equal to Lm A n e v square A n e square to Now L length of the conductor constant Mass of the electron constant Area of the conductor Cross section area of the conductor constant Number of electrons per unit volume is constant Charge of electron is constant Relaxation time It is uh, Relaxation time is also constant Total constant, this constant term we are calling as a resistance, it is represented by R. And then this constant term is equal to resistance that is represented by R. R means a resistance. From the above equation, resistance of the conductor R is equal to Lm by A N. E square into to a n e square into to now please listen here now please listen here r is equals to m by n e square to into l by a now please listen m is the mass of the electron constant term Number of electrons per unit volume constant, charge of electron constant, relaxation time is constant. Right? This constant is equal to, this constant is equal to rho L by A. This rho we are calling as resistivity of the material. Resistivity of the material or specific resistance specific resistance 